Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Joni Young, and if you're new here, thanks so much for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint uh, another fantasy painting, and then I'm kind of envisioning some turquoise water down below. I'm going to begin the sky with phthalo blue and dioxazine purple. So we're going to be using titanium white, turquoise, and like I said, dioxazine purple and phthalo blue. I'll add all the colors and brushes I'm using in the description box below. I'm going to be using my 2 inch large blending brush, working on an 11 by 14 stretched canvas. This is an older painting that I primed over just with acrylic paint. I let it dry completely and let's begin. So with a damp brush not dripping, I'm going to take my dioxazine purple and I'm going to do sort of a sweeping line that comes down like this, just with that purple pulling and then I'm going to start pulling on an angle like this with the purple. Pick up a bit more and some of that phthalo blue this time with a little bit of white. So it kind of just looks black at this point, but you'll see it. I start to pull it. Go back into my purple with a little bit of white. Take a little bit more white here. So pushing and pulling. Take a little bit of water, a little bit more purple and blue, making it really dark right here. Okay, and then I'm just going to leave that. Gonna wash this brush out, I'm not going to use that again. Over to my flat brush, my large flat brush, it's a number 11. And I'm going to get it a little bit wet. I'm going to take some of my titanium white and go right from the top, making this look streaky. Pick up a little bit of turquoise with my white this time. And right from the top, it's like you're painting sun rays. Go right underneath. Do a nice smooth line. I've got my little blending brush here, mop brush. It's dry, and you can use any size you want. What I'm going to do is just Actually, take a little bit of my blue and white because the paint has dried so quickly I have nothing to work with so I just want to create a little, a little soft base down here at the sky towards the horizon just pull it like that into a bit of white it's a very soft cloud look. Then I'm going to take my turquoise and white and then come right down in here. Start pulling across and I'm just letting it kind of drip down there. I just want to create a lighter color and then build it up with my turquoise Right like that. We will have some clouds in here too. I'm going to switch over to a different brush. I'll leave that. And I think I'm going to use my filbert brush. I'm using my number 12. 
I'm just going to create some little round formations right here. I'm going to slide into that phthalo and white. Try that again. You want it to be on the tip of your brush like that. some more clouds in here. Maybe we'll have let's see a little bridge a little bridge that comes right down in here. Let's just see where imagination takes us. Paints. Well enough, I can still wipe it off if I change my mind. Have this just disappearing into the clouds. I'm going to pull in my dark colors, thalo and dioxazine. Go right up and then down. Right off. Some, maybe I'll add some little lights. I'm going to concentrate on adding this phoenix in here. Beak, little head, little line for the neck, and then it comes out. tail that just flows and this beautiful wing right here so you can just line it up right by his head here and have it curve, curve, and just have all these little wisps. I'm just adding little lines like this. And then you'll just keep building up those highlights, right? This is it's wet right now, 
So when you want it to be really bright, you'll just go back as it dries and add those bright highlights where you want them. Starting his second feather right here. You just want to slide your brush right into the white paint, no water at all, and almost like you're painting little flower petals. Just going to exaggerate that wing. I'm going to switch over to a little liner brush so I can work a little bit easier. Add a shadow to here. Pull some of my phthalo blue right in here. Do some little taps like that. Back to my white. A little bit of water, turquoise, and white. And what I'm not crazy about is how long I made his wing right in there. So I'm going to go over that, taking some purple and blue, and I'm going to bring this dark color back in here and try to just camouflage that a little bit again. There we go, I mean that's helped quite a bit. his or her I don't know if it's a male or female you guys can can choose I'm just gonna make this a little bit narrower and then add a little eye right in there it's very subtle and 
scoop down with some purple, just the dark color that we've been using. We're just giving this a little bit of an outline to make it stand out even more. Back to my liner brush. Take a little bit of turquoise along with that phthalo blue. Add some pretty colors in here. Thinner and wispier here. I'm just going to add, just using a stiff little filbert brush, I'm going to add a bit of turquoise. For little lights on this bridge. If I don't like it, then I'm just going to paint over and make it all clouds. You can see this is still pretty wet on this side. I want to create this uh, light halo before I add the bright white lights inside. So what actually might work right now is just to scumble off this paint. It seems to be working better than trying to add paint over top. So sometimes it's better to just go with what's happening on your canvas than to try and fight it. So look at that. That's quite pretty. Get these little balls or orbs of light. Another one right down here. Don't forget to wipe the excess paint off and then come back. And then if your brush gets too dry, then pick up a little bit of water. Okay, I'm just gonna let that 
sit for a minute, go back to my liner brush here, and we just add a little highlight to the railing. Well, something in between here. A little bit. And we could do a little highlight here as well. A few little lines like that. And then just another little line. So you have a line on top, another line on top, and then one right here where you'd be walking. And I just made this a little bit lighter underneath, but you don't you don't really need to have that. Okay, so I'm gonna add the little lights inside. So that's with my liner brush. Take some more white here. Make this nice and bright right in here. Give a light little glow around his head. Just a little softness like that. Bit of light blue in here. Take a little bit of white. And these look a little bit messy, but I'm gonna soften them up. I'll add some little twinkling stars in here. A little bunch coming in around here. my white again. Very delicately. Do a few little lines like that. You just want to have it on the tip of your brush. And then just pull Pull and flick. I 
You don't have to make them all stars, you could just make some of them little dabs like that. Taking a little bit of white. And some water back here. And I think what I'd like to do is still add little twinkling lights here to parts of his or her tail making it look as if it's sparkly Doing a very light line here. You can barely see it, and it could possibly be a glowing moon or a bubble, just something very soft. More little twinkling lights. It's too wet. Let's get a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit of turquoise in here, too. Okay, I'm going to call this all done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. This is something totally different for me to paint and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and bring you guys along with me for the journey. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. 
Bye. See you next time.